Last week, the American Defense Secretary was in India. After wrapping up his trip, Lloyd Austin landed in Kabul on Sunday for a surprise visit. The clock is ticking for the United States in Afghanistan. America is supposed to withdraw its forces from the country on the 1st of May. But with the flare-up in violence, U.S. President Joe Biden faces no easy choices. Here's a detailed report. Over the weekend, Lloyd Austin, the new Defense Secretary of America, landed in Kabul, becoming the first member of the Biden cabinet to visit war-torn Afghanistan. This was a surprise trip. But the questions posed to Austin by journalists came as no surprise. They wanted to know if America will withdraw from Afghanistan. Mr. Secretary, uh, do you think the Taliban has met the conditions to ensure U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan? What I will say is that it's obvious that the level of violence uh, remains pretty high uh, in the country. We really like to see that violence come down. Uh, and uh, I think if it does come down, it can begin to set the conditions for, you know, some, some really fruitful uh, diplomatic work. As per America's agreement with the Taliban, American forces should withdraw from Afghanistan on the 1st of May. That's the deal that the Trump administration had agreed to. Until now, Team Biden has kept its cards close to its chest. In Afghanistan, Austin said it is up to his boss, Joe Biden, to decide when the American troops will leave. The U.S. president says a May 1st withdrawal will be tough. That was not a very solidly negotiated deal that uh, the president, the former president, uh, worked out. And so we're in consultation with our allies as well as the government, and uh, uh, that decision's going to be, it's in process now. Likely to take longer? I, I don't think a lot longer. But May 1st is tough. Could happen, but it, it is tough. The Biden administration has tried to kickstart the withdrawal process again. Earlier this month, the United States had called for a meeting of all stakeholders in Turkey. At the same time, it is pushing for a wider UN-led dialogue. The United States wants India involved during a prospective meeting of foreign ministers from China, Russia, Pakistan and India. Reportedly, Defense Secretary Austin discussed Afghanistan with the Indian leadership. On Monday, Afghanistan's Foreign Minister Mohammad Hanif Atmar arrived in New Delhi. It is a three-day working visit, during which the Afghan Foreign Minister is expected to discuss the peace process with the Indian leadership. While the Biden administration might extend the deadline for withdrawal, it does look eager to withdraw. And going by all the signs, it looks like Washington wants New Delhi to be a part of the solution. Bureau Report, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.